Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be transforming this image live here on YouTube using this background. So I want you to watch me as I go, as I take you through step-by-step -step video guide or step-by-step -step guide on how you can actually transform your white backdrops in this studio into something amazing and it will look really, really beautiful. So the first thing I will need to do in this image is number one, make sure that I separate the object from the background or even cropping if you need to crop. But looking at the length of the backdrop, I would leave it like this. Then if we need to crop later, then I'll do my cropping much more later. But the first thing I need to do here is to separate her from the background so that we can continue with every other thing we need to do. So I'm going to make a selection of the subject. Once the selection is made, I will right click and go to select inverse. So at this point, I'm going to make a duplicate of my background, right click and go to layer view port. So if you are, if you are already a very constant visitor of our channel, you would have mastered this particular step that I just took now. It's a routine thing for me. It's always beautiful to use that to transform backgrounds whenever I'm transforming my backgrounds. So once you are done, uh, separating your object from your background. Make sure that your object layer is above all every other layers like that. So looking at this image now, we're going to be blending using blending option much more later. And if we use blend option in this particular background, it's not going to come out really well. So what do we do? We convert it to a gray background. And to do that, I'm going to go to solid color and of course choose something very grayish. Go to OK and change the blend mode to color or even overlay or multiply anything that will allow that gray color come out really, really well. So I'm going to, of course, reduce it. Beautiful. Now let's bring in our background and see how it fits in. So I'm going to go to my background layer, unlock it, pick up my move tool and drag it all the way in. So once in, I'm going to place my anchor point here. Place my anchor point here and then scale it in like this. And we are good to go. So I'm not going to push it all the way in so that I don't lose the beautiful, the beautiful background we have here. So I'm just going to keep it like this, then press OK. Now it's time to blend it in. So we'll go to overlay. You see the way it immediately blends in. Now this is where you start checking what you have in your multiply layer here. So remember we reduce your opacity. Now you can, you know. Gradually keep pushing it up until you get something really, really cool. So I think this works. And of course, we can restore our back, our shadows if we wish to. But I think our shadows are already perfectly in. So looking at the image, I'm noticing a little bit of wrong selection that we have over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask for the main object, pick up my brush, and just, you know, remove that whitish stuff pushing out from there using my mask. Are the one on the head this way and that is it so the next thing we need to do is to match everything together because looking at the image i'm feeling my object is brighter than the background so i'll go to my course create a clipping mask and now reduce the brightness of my object a little so you see immediately it looks even better so with that done i'm going to create a little bit of shadow here because the shadow on her feet isn't looking so strong what I'm going to do there is I'm going to make a duplicate of the original background down here. Right, then change the blend mode to multiply. And reduce it. So you see the way we created even more depth in that image. So the next thing to do is to brighten up her skin tone a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to go to my stay on the skin, go to my select, go to coloring and select just her skin like this. So we'll have her skin tone selected. Then press OK. I'll create a pulse adjustment layer for this selection. Make sure it's up here. Or else you can keep it down here to stay clicked and just brighten it up on the object. Now, the next thing to do is to create a global color grading that is going to bring everything together. But before we do that, let's go to Camera Raw and see what we can do with this background that we'll have here. 
So right here in camera row, I'm going to tone down the exposure a little, bring down the shadows a little bit, probably even push up the vibrance a little bit, add some contrast to it so that we'll get more depth. Then I'll go to my vignetting and just create a very soft vignetting around it. So that, that begins to darken our edges. So we we'll leave the shadows. So press OK. So what we just did was that we brought in more depth into the image. And once that is done, we'll now create a global color grading above every other thing right here. Beautiful. Yeah, I like this one, the way even her dress is reflecting the background. Okay, let's keep going. I think we'll get something better. Okay, so I think I prefer what the green, tension green was giving to us. I like this. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit, then pick up my tops, add some contrast to it, lift up my shadows a little bit. Okay, so another thing we can even do is to pick up our curves and just create a very tiny lightening effect in the middle. So the reason I always do this is when I feel that a lot of things are competing with my image on the screen, I always do this to bring their attention back to the middle of the frame. So once you do it, you'll notice that the moment you look, your eye goes straight into the middle. Now we need to soften it out. I'm even you know, a little bit strong, but let's soften it out. So this is portraying my object. I want it just on the background. Very good. So we'll have it just on the background over there. And that will be it. Another thing we can do is even to use our gradient map to see if we can get any other beautiful color grading that will look so amazing on the image. So I'll just come over here, make sure that my gradient type is in noise, change my roughness to like six, and just keep changing the randomized colors. Mm, this is beautiful. I love this one. I'll press OK. So this is the before. This is the after. See, we, we just got very beautiful, warm orange light across the whole image. And this is how you do it. So I'm going to create a stamp visible layer. Then go to filter, go to camera roll. Here, I'm going to reduce the highlight a little because her dress is looking too exposed. And add a little bit of contrast to the windows, make the shadows a little bit. And maybe dehaze it a little. Add some clarity and some texture. And we are good to go. So let me show you the overall before and after. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. So at this point, if you feel like, you know, still cropping your image, you are free to do that. But I think I'm not going to be cropping mine. This looks really, really amazing to me. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next vlog.